here is a piece of tissue up here which in all honesty you could not really identify as being anything normal in the body because it does not look like anything normal you could see that whatever this was somebody decided to put little blue uh, ink on it to see if uh, any of the margins were free of tumor so you can already guess this was a tumor specimen you could already guess because you see a lot of glands here and they look very irregular that's probably some kind of adenocarcinoma. You can see that most of this connective tissue, perhaps smooth muscle and or fibrous tissue does not have tumor. But then you see these little glands out here, uh, which look like they're kind of irregularly, haphazardly invading it. You can also see there's an area of tumor which appears to be rather confined to a nodule. You don't know what this really is, but if you did see on the bottom here, tissue like this, you could know that this is classical textbook normal prostate tissue. Very nice lined up columnar glands, concretions or dried up secretion material within the gland, and all of these little glands are nice and delineated by connective tissue. They do not invade. This is normal prostate at the bottom. There's absolutely no normal prostate on top because it's all adenocarcinoma. And uh, you can also see that there are some 5, 6, 10, 20 little wrinkles in the tissue as well. Uh, we saw the tumor in here. We, as a nodule, we saw the tumor out here. We could see that the tumor did not directly go to this inked area. Sometimes the prostate tumors will surround the little nerves of the prostate in the perineural space. But not only does it not do that here, but it doesn't go anywhere near to these inked areas. Uh, but here, this is all tumor up here in the northwest. Uh, there's no tumor here at all in the south. And all of this is irregularly, haphazardly infiltrating glands up here. And this entire field now uh, is cancer, isn't it? Let's look at three or four little areas quickly and randomly. Uh, some of the glands are dark. Some of them have vacuoles. Some of the glands infiltrate as tiny two or three cells at a time. Notice that there's some fibrous uh, tissue evocation surrounding the tumor cells. Here's another random area. In these areas, the tumor cells look whiter than the other ones, but they are still are unorganized and infiltrative. Here, some of the tumor cells look darker in their nucleus and cytoplasm. But believe me, this is all cancer. Now, this is fibrous tissue all along here and all throughout here and probably all along here. But these are infiltrating glands and all is this. All of these are, in this area, the glands have more whiter cytoplasm and more uniform nuclei, but in here, they're very dark and irregular. Thank you very much. Uh, this is prostate adenocarcinoma, fairly classically.